Andy Roddick will serve first. He will stand at the top of your screen, delivering set, the opening Roddick game to serve. John Isner in the foreground. We're just underway here, this third round matchup from the 2009 U.S. Open. for the first point a couple of areas where I think Roddick has improved in the last two years not only is his net play he's learnt the volley a lot better the technique on the volley is better but the backhand uh, the book on Roddick a few years ago was the backhand get in on the backhand and try and cover the one down the line he's got a lot more belief in that shot these days Rally this time is near nets the forehand and we're tied 15 all almost like boxers sort of feeling yep. each other out. They're very familiar with each other obviously having played twice before but as Americans they've been around the circuit they get out there and don't want to test too much early want to get a feel for how the other's game is going. Yes you want to get a feel for uh, where the, the tactics that they may employ early and Roddick at this stage seems to be very happy to rally from the back of the court. Forced errors combine, and it's Roddick who jumps out to the lead. Andy Roddick, not only the 2003 U.S. Open champion, the year that he finished ranked number one in the world, but he also had good success here in juniors. Three years prior, he was the U.S. Open boys singles champion, knocking out Robbie Ginepri. Enjoys playing his fellow Americans. He's got a nice, healthy 69 and 17 record. Well, on top of that, he loves playing here in New York too. Then they love him. So, uh, under those circumstances, uh, that's worth a point here and there for Roddick. Game, Roddick. Another error from Isner. Did a sloppy play early from both, but it's Roddick who prevails, takes the early lead. One love as the players will switch ends. Roddick enjoying a little daytime activity for the first time in the 2009 U.S. Open. Both of his matches against Powell and his Jaquel match were under the lights at night. No, I was thinking exactly the same thing. It's very strange for Roddick to be here because, uh, but it's a television. It's a long weekend here, and uh, obviously for the TV viewers at home, uh, the uh, CBS would want him on, and same with Federer early today. So John Isner will step to the line for the first time. We will see the high octane, high elevation serve from North Carolina native. And why not start it off with an ace at 117 miles per hour? He gets a terrific angle on that because he's so tall. And uh, if he can find that angle, then Roddick hasn't got too many answers. If you can get that serve on the spot that he got right there out wide, there's not much you can do about that. And Pretty low. Just got to wait until they miss a few and try and get that ball back into play. And that's Roddick's job. And if he can get it back, I think he's got to back himself in the uh, rallying in the exchanges from the back of the court. the battle of ground strokes Fred who's got the stronger game overall I think Roddick is the, the more consistent I I just feel that uh, you know, Isner hasn't had the experience that Roddick's had over the years and I feel he's a little a little loose 
off the ground at times, isn't it? Yeah, isn't it? But boy, has he got a great serve. Look at that, just rolls his arm over on that one, one away from the body at 133 miles an hour. And it's not often that Andy Roddick has to stand by and watch his opponent serve three aces in a game. First game, yeah. He's used to doing that <laughs> himself, but for Isner, he can't ask for a better start as he holds one off. Somebody told me that Taylor Dent and his first serve yesterday and his match, the first serve he hit was 144 miles an hour. First that's serve. That's sir. In the match. Yeah, usually it takes a little time to warm that up, get that speed elevated, but Taylor was fired up to get out there in his match against Navarro. That five set match that just sent the grounds into a tailspin. Everybody's so excited. Good inside out forehand from Isner. Good footwork there from Love Isner to get around that. Surprise, Roddick. Settling into a groove. Six of his eight service points thus far. Realizing after watching three aces sail by, he cannot let up on his serve. from Isner from the back didn't have the surest of footwork but he came no, into the net put the pressure on it was interesting that one because uh, I thought then that uh, Roddick would attack that and go into the net and, and he came back and took a step back and played a slice without much on it and it allowed Isner back into the point shot three points ago and that's where I think in my mind from watching from the first match he is a little loose in that department it's footwork he's got to get around and then come around the outside of the ball he hit a winner but that one an unforced error and I think that's an area where yeah, Roddick, Roddick will try and exploit Roddick leads 2-1 opening set early going Roddick from Arthur Ashe Stadium at the 2009 U.S. Open from Flushing, New York. As we mentioned earlier, John Isner out from April through mid-July with mononucleosis, but came back in good form when well, that, he returned. That sort of keeps the boys out for quite some time. Roger Federer had a touch of that uh, and didn't say too much about it in Australia. Oh! say that because it hadn't been diagnosed early enough that sort of had an extended impact on Rogers 2008 season. Oh. Isner goes for it all with the forehand and again having trouble just dialing that ground stroke up his fifth unforced error gives Roddick the early lead. Isner bounced back in good form though if the mononucleosis was that debilitating he certainly got over it well. Came back from the illness and got to the semifinals at both Indianapolis and Washington. 
and they're played in extreme heat. That's even more impressive. And we should also make mention of the quarterfinal finish in Los Angeles, where he lost to Karsten Ball, who went on to the final and lost to Sam Query. Isner serving 15 all. Just 11 minutes. First set. And oh, ace number four. game of Andy Roddick has come under some scrutiny later since he seems to be using that more as an aggressive tactic for John Isner. It's no surprise that he likes to come forward, use his height advantage. Already successful in both trips to the net. Game, game. Isner. Two games off. Arthur Ashe Stadium Court. John Isner records his fifth ace to make it two all here in the opening set against fellow American and five seed Andy Roddick. Two all is our score here. And if you'd like to find out scores online, usopen.org is the exclusive online home for point by point live scoring and real time draws. That's successful by Roddick as Isner, Isner travels to the net. Finds its way into the court. 15 low. Kevin Skinner here along with two-time major singles champion and U.S. championships titleist Fred Stolle. And Fred, these two guys certainly with the, the knowledge of each other's game, it's going to be difficult to outsmart one another. Yeah, it's just a lot of heavy yeah. serves. And we were talking about the illness of John Isner with mononucleosis and how it uh, affects the players. It, it did affect Roger Federer. The other gentleman I was trying to think of, was, I think it was Mario Ancic from Croatia. He was out for a good nine months, and I don't think he has really recovered yet. But his tennis hasn't shown that. that uh, so it can be just debilitating as far as your tennis right career is concerned. Right and uh, John Isner has come back and, as you mentioned, done well in the, in the two tournaments that he's played since the illness. There's a challenge on the court, and the Chase Review says the ball just struck the back of the line. Replay the point, 30 love. Replay the point at 30 love. A bit of an anomaly for Isner to bounce back so quickly and have such good results with those two semifinal appearances and a quarterfinal during the summer. From Isner. 30, gave 15. It quite a bit of air, which so meant lots of topspin. Got it well over the net to create the angle. And it forced Roddick to, he was way off course, he had to go for a winner. As soon as he hit it, you heard John Isner say no and finds the net 40 15 in favor of Roddick. Roddick really enjoys these hard courts, Fred. He's had great success in 2009 and being able to put together a terrific match win record coming into the tournament 33 and 8. So, by virtue of his two wins, now 35 and 8 on hard courts in 2009. Oh. So he gets the hold and moves ahead 3 2. That puts him second 
on the tour behind Andy Murray for most wins. Roddick leads three games to two. Five seed out in front, leading 3 2. No breaks have served. There hasn't even been a break point yet through five games. Isner is here now. Eight of nine points from the service line. And his two holds. Serving 2 3. Double fault by either now Isner, eight of ten, and of the eight points that he's won, Fred, five have been aces thus far. Fastest coming in at 137 miles per hour. Love the game. You win the first point as Roddick did there, and uh, now gets the second ball back into play off the first serve. Love 30. But still, this man is capable of just throwing it up and four swings of the racket, and it's game. So, but Roddick's job now, particularly at Love 30, is to get a ball back into play. Roddick Challenge. has jumped in the call. Right side service line. Ball is called in. You can't hit what you can't see, but Roddick thought he saw it long. It was moving at 136 miles per hour, and let's see if technology agrees. Yeah, that's good. 15-30. Roddick ace. with two challenges remaining. For Isner and Roddick loses a challenge. Now two remaining here in the opening set. Hey. 30 on. Yeah, they'd be disappointed there, but it was a good forehand from Isner. Deep and with some stick. Had a fair bit of pace on it, and Roddick couldn't control it, so 30 all. That's the beauty of having a big serve. Just can't lay a racket on. What's that? Ace 40, number 30. seven now. Seven of 11 points have been registered as aces. Amazing. Roddick hasn't served any aces yet. He's in a seven. Game. Isner. Number eight. And John Isner keeping pace. For set. First set. Round of 32. Just 20 minutes, already six games. He's two opponents like to work quickly. Mentioned Andy Roddick trailing only Andy Murray for most match wins on hard courts in 2009. I think Larry Stefanke uh, with his tactics in this match would be with Roddick that you don't have to go out and crank up aces. He hasn't served an ace. Just get them in the spot and try and get the tall man off balance and then take control of the point. That's, he's been able to do that so far, but in this stage it's love 15. He's lost the first point. 15 on. That serve again, just three quarter pace serve for. Roddick, 130 miles an hour. Just rolls the arm over a little. What do you think of Roddick's service motion? He gets a lot of strength from the leg. He does. He just goes straight up and into it. Gets a lot of things. It's more arm than anything else. 30, 15. A lot of folks feel that because of that, uh, he will develop shoulder problems. But boy, he's been out there for a while and it hasn't seemed to have affected him at all. He's a very strong lad, but as you mentioned, he gets a lot out of the legs. He starts to serve up. He doesn't take the weight on the back foot. He starts and goes straight up and then lets it go. Isn't that dictating play a bit, moving Ronick 15. around, but finds himself errant on the forehand. And the aggressor, if you look at the statistical side of things, with 10 winners to just two from Roddick and eight unforced errors for the big man to just two for Andy. Net. Net. For sure. Oh, 
Roddick, it doesn't matter whether it's first serves or second serves at this stage, it's just uh, three service games. Game, game. Roddick. He rolls in his first ace for the match. New balls. He's uh, 71% now on first serves. Roddick leads four games to three. First John Isner serving 3-4 to Andy Roddick, the five seed. Play on Arthur Ashe Stadium. And Isner coming team. forward can't quite get the handle. That's the transition I was talking about earlier. That ball landed inside the service line. Isner did not get under it. He hits a lot of those in the net. So I would think that Roddick would uh, try and capitalize on that, keep that ball short, particularly on the forehand side inside that service box if he can get the serve back into play. But he's got to keep it low. Well done again there. So he's had love 30 the last two service games. Roddick on the Isner serve. But then the big delivery comes in. A couple of aces and he's got to be aware of that may happen again. It can happen at any time the way Isner serves. quickly and as they get in those rallies now it is Roddick now with an opportunity to break and serve out the first set. Triple break point on 10th, the 10th error by Isner. They played five sets these two in their two previous meetings and Roddick's been able to break Isner just four times. 15. Poised to do so for the fifth and take control of this first set. Isner has his work cut out for him, but as you've made mention so often, Fred, things can turn on a yep. dime. He needs to rear back and pop off a couple aces, erase those break points. Roddick trying to put the pressure on. For the cross court forehand. 40, 40. Smart play from Roddick, just didn't quite give it enough pace of shot. And he's now had time to do a 360 or a 180 and get back and just play a stab backhand volley. A good pickup. Two break points erased, one remains. A good look inside Arthur Ashe Stadium. Great turnout all week long in the beautiful weather. In fact, yesterday was a new attendance record of 61,554 people. <laughs> coming out to see tennis as Isner may challenge. He elects not to. Roddick will get a look at a second serve. That was a new single day attendance record here at the US Open. Yeah. Just like that, as we made mention. Yes. Yeah, that's the risk you take. You work hard and get to love 40. And it can disappear in three swings of the racket. Isner, very mild mannered. Not too demonstrative on the court. Getting down on himself a little bit, but feisty enough and proud enough to say, hey, I got back in this game. Now at deuce. Yeah, Another yeah, terrific yeah. serve up the tee. Doesn't go on the ledger as an ace, but just as effective as Roddick can't offer a reply. Five straight points, three breaks of serve avoided by Isner, and we are back on track. First eight games are split evenly. So the 2003 U.S. Open champion, looking to just keep pace, hold serve, do his business. 
It's been 24 majors since an American man has won a major, the last being Roddick here in 2003. Since then, Roddick has had four opportunities to do so, but he keeps running into this guy friend named Federer. <laughs> here at the U.S. Open, runner-up. Fifty-nine. A lot of Roddick electing to play that slice just to try and upset the rhythm of is in the ground strokes. that far back behind the baseline is that a strategy that he's going to he was forced back there but he remained back and that opened up the court for Roddick. Yeah no that's, that's one of the things that um, Isner likes to play from back there I don't think you know with the Roddick serve he can get a pretty good angle a good look at the serve there. that's a long way back to the serve. And on the juice court it's even worse if Roddick can break that one out wide to the forehand. Second ace puts him a point away from a 5-4 lead. He's no when he gets ready to serve. You can see the angle at which he stands there. With the right foot in front of the front, basically waiting for a backhand. Okay. And it does go to the backhand, but Isner's return sails long. Andy Roddick out in front, 5-4. We're on serve in the third round from the U.S. Open. Isner serving 4-5. 15 left. Nice that the mailman cared. Well, Roddick got a lot of advice after that Wimbledon final coming up just short against Roger Federer. <laughs> One of the things that was so impressive about his service game is that 11 times, Fred, he had to serve to hold in order to stay in the match in that fifth set, holding 37 times before he was finally broken by Roger Federer, 16-14 in the fifth. What a way to follow up the year before his Wimbledon final. Yeah, well, I, I just going to say uh, that was a marvelous match, but I still put the year before. It was a marvelous match, basically, because the fifth set went to the longest score that they've had at Wimbledon in a fifth set final. But the Federer and Nadal match will go down in my book. I've covered Wimbledon out here for about 30 years, and... Uh, That'll go down as a very special one. Block return for Roddick just to get the ball back in play. Isner with a forehand paints the corner line with his 14th winner. Two points away from making a five all. 6 p.m. local time here in New York City. Foot speed there from Roddick. But again, when you're Isner and you can get a first serve in like that, it makes the volleying pretty easy. That one up around shoulder height. <laughs> called wide. Isner's challenge on the call. Right side, far sideline. Always called out. Now you hear the deep, dulcet tones of Steve Ulrich explaining what the challenge will be here on the chase review. Did it catch the line? Fred, almost spot on. Game is now. Well, the players know pretty off, much they have a feel for when they hit that ball. They've been out there, there have been thousands of shots like that. And you have a pretty good feel as to whether it's in or out. Even on the serve, as hard as they hit the serve, they have a pretty good feel about it. 
Wise challenge as it gives the game to Isner and he matches Roddick through the first 10 games. Five apiece. most of the court, isn't it? A standout collegiate tennis player, John Isner, the University of Georgia. Well, that'll do, says Andy. Ace number three. 202, well, let's round up, Fred. 203 kilometers <laughs> per hour. Still trailing Isner by five aces, though, as the big man has better Roddick in that category, eight to three. That's the part of the game I like about Roddick now. He has decided that given the opportunity, plays the slice. Doesn't do much with his volley, though. It's a good passing shot. But he anticipates this one, goes for it, but uh, the execution wasn't there. Good move from Isner as he moved forward on that two-fisted backhand. 30-15 now. past Isner, winner number nine. You could hear him just sort of exclaim, yep. It's got to be a good feeling to have that confidence to know when you've hit a clean winner. And emphatically, with the fastest serve of the day, Game Roddick. in his fourth ace, Andy Roddick, Roddick edges out in front. 6-5, we're in the opening set of the third round. Isner. Extend this first set to six all. I would agree, yeah, but uh, I felt that once he got in, I didn't think there'd be that many long rallies. I've been proven to be wrong right there because these boys seem to enjoy duking it out from the baseline. serves to drop that ball between the legs, through the legs. Isn't it? Yeah. And found its mark as well. Strong inside out forehand. 16th ace, five from that wing. And two points away from capturing the game. looking to get to the net and from his height he certainly <laughs> said if that falls over my head it's got to be out <laughs> fair chance it's going to sail long Is 
Isner. And Isner holds at love for the second time in the match, and it will indeed take us to a first set tiebreak. No surprise to many in 43 minutes that we are going to have to decide. This set by first one to seven, win by two. Andy Roddick will serve first. So in six sets, Roddick and Isner now find themselves for the third time battling it out in a tiebreak. Tiebreak record for 2009, Roddick's 133 and lost 10. Isner 121 and lost eight. But how about this one, a career tiebreak record. Andy Roddick has won 256 and lost 147. That's a lot of tiebreakers. But between he's the, had a fair career too. He certainly has, and between the two, the one little silver lining in all of that for Isner is they have split the two previous tie breaks. So he knows he has a chance, especially if he can serve like that. One on. Just able to frame the ball. No ball in play. Tough break Two for Esner. Roddick. That's the ball again. And that transition area, it was just around that service line area. He just, he's a tall lad, and most of those mistakes he makes there, he hits the ball into the net. Just doesn't get underneath it. So a mini break now for Roddick. Plays the drop shot to try and bring Roddick in. The slice backhand, not near enough to the sideline and not deep enough, just allows the tall man an opportunity to set himself for that backhand pass, and he did it well. There, nice and smooth. And this one, right in the slot, and bang. No chance of that coming back. And you can see the reaction, Isner. Last three points have gone to the returner, as Isner not only gets the mini break back, but now gives himself the advantage at 3 2. Last point before the players will exchange ends. Now, Fred, the last time that John Isner got to the third round was two years ago here at the U.S. Open. And he had the unfortunate draw of having to face Roger Federer. Yeah, yeah. But he shocked everybody by taking that first, first set, set to yes. a tiebreak yeah. and emerged out ahead. Well, no, he's, he's in there with a chance here. If he continues to serve, well, he, if he gets the first serve in, let's face it, when he gets it in, he's winning 83% of the points. So four out of five every time he gets the ball in. So this is very important, these next couple of points in the tiebreak.
once again, Five Isner two. establishing Isner. himself at the net. High ball bouncing up, and Ronick just slicing it back. Isner closing out nicely for his fifth winner in eight trips forward. And now enjoying a 5 2 lead here in this tiebreak. Off the ground. He has not been that way today. This is impressive stuff. He's had a couple of backhands in this tiebreaker where he's just cracked winners. And this forehand here, again, he just levels it. Set point for Isner. Five straight points after having trailed 2 1. Chance to jump out of one set lead. Hot. 6 3. Isner. His 13th unforced error gives Roddick the point, but now for Isner has to feel very confident <laughs> in his chances. You think so? He's dropped just four points on his first serve when he's gotten it in, as you mentioned, for an 83% success rate. It's been phenomenal, and we'll now have set point number two at his disposal. Finds himself out in front, one set to none. It's the third round from Flushing Meadows. Slice backhands, one on the sideline, the other one on the baseline. This one here, right through the baseline. Look at the tall man at the net. You can't get anything past him. He just stands up and just bunts that one over the net into the open court. Very impressive. Well, Roddick's in a heap of trouble in this match unless this fellow goes off the boil a little bit and starts to miss a few serves. Threatening to hold it love for the third time in the match. 65% first serves in. That's uh, that's rich. Second serve. Terrific performance game, by John set. Isner to start the second set. He holds at love and has a one love lead. That first set loss by Roddick is the first set he has dropped here in the 2009 edition of the U.S. Open. And as we take a look back at the numbers, Fred Stolle, is there anything other than the serve that really stands out? I mean, it's no surprise. Well, pretty elevated numbers there. No, both players serve well and uh, winning a big percentage of points, but. It's been such a good match. Look at this. 21 winners to 14 unforced errors. 10 winners to 3 unforced errors. This has been a very clean match. Had three break points in the opening set. They were taken away by some big serves from uh, Isner. So far, a very clean match. Well played. Both ends of the court. And as we looked at those numbers for 
15 now. Plus seven on the differential for both mm -hmm. players. And that is a high level of play. Well, particularly at the rate they're hitting the ball. They're not just sort of getting the ball in play. It was the fourth time that Roddick managed to reach the third round without throwing the set. Did so in 2002, 2004, 2006. But now that has been erased. Actually, Fred, none of them had dropped a set getting to the third round. Also remarkable, all top 16 seeds in the men's draw got to the third round. That's the first time in the open era at any major that that has occurred. Next. Sir? Can't say, same can't be said for the women's no. draw. There's been. A slew of seeds eliminated early. But the men have held to form thus far. down the barrel John Isner who has been unbelievable of late in his last three service games Fred he's lost just one point you go back to when he saved all three break points in the eighth service game he ran off five straight and has won 12 in a row 15 love. why not make it lucky 13 straight number 12 third of the set not much can go wrong with the delivery either with uh, Eisner it's a uh, it's a simple action very smooth weight in the back foot throws, ah! it, throws the head of the racket up and out but there's the commentators curse little fault when you're talking about how well he's serving and Good the motion is. And the double fault follows. Gets his third versus the 12 aces, and that ends that run of 13. Maybe sure. that wasn't so lucky. And still in good shape at 15 all. and his footwork and his transition game. Is that something he can overcome at this point or is he oh, pretty most, much? No, I, definitely that's something that I'm sure that he would be working on. Uh, that's about the only weakness. I was just thinking both these fellows pretty much play the same type of game. Two-fisted backhands, big forehands, huge serves. is challenging the call left side baseline what was called out transition game is part and parcel of uh, what makes you when you get in there it's all very well you've got to hit those good passing shots I mean the good approach shots to get in to make the volley and uh, Andy misses that call it's out 30 on Roddick with two challenges remaining you see the Roddick camp on the left wife Brooklyn the middle Doug Spring in the blue shirt Larry Stefanke that has helped Roddick re-emerge in 2009 as a threat. 
four days. Real ago. threat across the net is John Isner as he yeah. continues the barrage of aces. 219 kilometers per hour, just a shade under the fastest serve of the day. Two games to one. Numerous set. occasions. And one set to love. Is new balls today. Roddick serving one two. Second set down a set to Isner. Fifteen love. Court forehand. Look where he is, way behind the baseline. That is a difficult shot to play. A passing shot from four yards, five yards behind that baseline. Yeah. You can do it with the equipment today. Got it made it look easy as he did that serve. It's fifth ace. Serving particularly bad. Yep. Hasn't faced a break point all match. But he's been perfect here in the second. Ah. And continues his streak. Eight points in a row on the serve of Andy Roddick here in the second set. Two games, and two games apiece. Set. Good tactics there from Isner to try and make some things happen. He went into the net on a couple of occasions there. Wasn't able to track it. No, it's too old. USOpen.org is your premier source for multimedia coverage of the US Open, including exclusive match highlights and behind the scenes coverage throughout the tournament. The official website of the US Open, USOpen.org. We love you too. Well, you wouldn't expect it, Fred, for Andy Roddick to drop that opening set tiebreak and, and not rebound in the second well set. Enough. He's certainly one of the hardier competitors on the tour. Well, this is the Big Apple. This is the U.S. Open. This is the, well, if you're an American, this is the one you want to win. What are your memories of? Just a few years back when you captured the U.S. championships and right I, here. In I can't remember back that far. Well, as an Aussie, <laughs> as an Aussie and American capturing this title, obviously yeah. uh, it was a, a great, great joy. Thrill. Great thrill for me, yes. I beat John Newcomb in the final. He doesn't remember that, though. And uh, Roy Emerson, one of the few times I beat Roy was in the semi-final. And but that was when it was played on grass over at uh, Forest Hills. And I got a silver tray for winning it. That's pulled wide from Isner. So a slight opportunity here for, for Roddick. Again, Larry's to Fanky there on the left. And Roddick credits with the turnaround in the Texans game in 2009. Lighter. Dropped about 15 pounds from his playing weight last year. A little more speed, a little more attacking nature coming to the net a bit more often. What other areas would you credit Stefanki with in Roddick's game? Well, I think the fact that he wants Roddick to work and Roddick listens to him because he respects him. Stefanki is uh, at Marcello Rios, he's at uh, Fernando Gonzalez. Uh, had a little bit to do with John McEnroe some time ago. Uh, he 
He's had some pretty good players to work with, but they all respect uh, his work ethic, which is good. And he said, hey, if you drop 15 pounds, then we can talk about getting things done. And I think he's helped Roddick believe that he can make that move to the net and volley. Even if he misses a few volleys, you've got to keep that tactic. He needs that. He needs that in his repertoire. He needs that in his game if he's to take on Federer. Now this here, he shrugs his shoulders. He can't do too much about that. Isner just has not. Isner's just not missed serve. 14 aces. Still winning four out of five points when you get that serve in. Finette, the low ball, not a problem posed Isner for Isner. Three games to two. He puts the volley set. over and takes one to the three-two lead. Well, no worries. As some of you and your Aussie <laughs> mates would say, for Andy Roddick here in the second set on his serve, he hasn't lost a single point in two service games. Five for five on the first serve, and when he's missed on that first offering, three for three on his second overall. Pretty terrific numbers. For Roddick through the match. Well, everything's working well for Isner now, and again, I'm happy to see Roddick go into the net. A good move from Isner here. He plays the little slider. Roddick gets to it, but Isner moves in at a full stretch there. He was able to control it enough to keep it inside the baseline. Fifteen long. An hour and ten minutes on court here in the second set. Roddick trying to keep pace with Isner in this set. Fifteen all. This is now the hundredth point of the match. been winning four out of five points when he gets that first serve in as well. But at 15.30. Danger zone at 3-2. Uh, Time at the point. Roddick as Isner hold break points against the five seed serve. Roddick broken just once in the first two matches to get to this third round meeting. And Fred, in their two previous meetings, John Isner has never broken the serve of Andy Roddick. First chance of the match for the 6 10 Isner. Attempt to keep the ball in play, and Roddick was the one that Isner made the move. Four games Goes to two. into the net Second here. The, the approach not great. The volley just not close enough to the sideline. And once more, Isner threads the needle. And look at that reaction. You think he wants this match? Oh, this would be Oof. a terrific win for him. Imagine going 0 and 2 against Roddick in Washington over the course of the last three years, but now against a former champion, up at, a break and yep, serve. Up a break and a set at uh, on Arthur Ashe Stadium at the US Open. What a moment for him. But he has to hold serve here. First time Isner has ever broken Andy Roddick's serve. Oh. 
15 just low. too much pace on that serve. Roddick hasn't been able to control it. I thought that he would uh, have a better look at the second serve and make more inroads. But credit to this man. Thirty low. If you can't reach them, you can't hit them. That's just brilliant serving again. That's fifteen aces. Huge crowd still on hand here. Forty low. And Isner making the most of that. Single break opportunity. Point away from consolidating, grabbing a hold of the momentum in this match and a 5 2 lead. The game well, is an emphasis. The forehand finds its way true and a hold of love. John Isner, Isner leads five games to two, second Roddick. set. Five and two set and a set to the good. serve. He's still way behind the baseline on the first delivery. But is moving forward. He's round about the baseline when uh, Roddick hits the second serve. Go on court these days with half a dozen rackets, and they're all strung. I would say pretty much the same tension. He doesn't worry about the tension of that racket, just picks out the racket, takes it out of the bag. And a lot of the players get them strung on a daily basis these days. So no Ronnie does what he has three, to do, a must set. hold situation to avoid falling behind two sets to love. He holds to close the gap to 5 3, and now John Isner will serve for the set. Now this is the first real test for the Isner nerves. He's won out, uh, run out the first set 7 6, but now he has an opportunity to get to two sets to love lead and. It's got to be a, a winning situation for him, in my mind, if he is able to win this service game. And the pressure builds. Throwing a couple of double faults because he's just he's been unbelievable on first serve percentages. But serving for the set, things go through your mind, whether you get the first serve in or whether you continue to just let it rip. Roddick's won the first point. He has to build on that. Oh, the execution just falling yes, short you know. as Roddick closes out, looks for the pass, can't clear the net. Isner gets away. Falling behind Love 30, 15 all. Took 
bigger shot. And the turn wasn't quite deep enough. It's a good way to erase some of those nerves, perhaps, too. Get yourself in a nice little comfort zone and groove a winner. Even though Roddick framed it, it still has the same effect and puts Isner on the front 30-15. Very smart play, very smart play. Didn't go for the big serve, three-quarter pace kicker, surprised Roddick, and the tall man was in a good position to make the volley. This one's up high, like roundabout waist high. He's not going to miss any of those. He just had to dump it over the net inside that service box, and he's got set points for two sets to love lead. Isner. Closing things out with the fastest serve of the day, his 17th base, John three. Isner. Shocking the fans here at Arthur Ashe Stadium with a two set to none lead over the five seed, Andy Roddick. And John Isner has issued Andy Roddick a challenge. I'm taking the first two sets. You're going to have to win two of the next three to advance. Serving prowess and put the pressure on Roddick and force the American from Texas, Andy Roddick, to really up his game. He's got to win three of the next three. He can't afford two of the next three. He's not going to do it. It might get him close, but. <laughs> two of the next three, <laughs> absolutely, Fred. Just to get to a fifth set, to try to win that third set. You're absolutely right. Love in favor of the five seed. Forty love, but you can be sure of one thing. Andy Roddick is not going to go away. Drop shot. Boy, everything he's tried has turned to gold today. He's not. Game. Right. with the hold. Takes the opening game of the third set, but he is in a bind. The five seed hadn't dropped a set to get to the third round and had never been broken by John Isner in their two previous meetings. Finds himself in dire straits. And as we look back, Fred Stolle at the second set numbers, it was Isner getting that one break of serve. That proved to be the difference, but the still, the level of play was still high. Well, very much so. Both the players, Isner there, look at that 16 winners and five unforced errors. The service percentage from Erotic went off a little in that uh, second set. And overall, he's now at 60%, and uh, he's now at 63% overall. But both players, when they get that first serve in, are uh, still winning four out of five points. So it just shows you how heavy that yeah, delivery right. is from both men. Well, 18 aces now for Isner. He slides that one in at 103 miles per hour, 167 kph. Summer of John Isner. It was a 
difficult prospect and get started as you see the 18 aces to five double faults. Roddick six and nine double faults. Isner was out from mid-April to mid-July with mononucleosis, but responded nicely when he came back. Good passing shot from the backhand side of Andy Roddick. This is camp. 15 Cheer on. 27-year-old. A good look at it. Yeah, he's got to feel, uh, Isner, that is, got to feel pretty happy. He's, he's the freshest guy in the tournament anyway because he hasn't had to play all those lead-up tournaments. And uh, he's coming here obviously very eager, and he's in pretty good shape. The weather's got to help here too also. It's rather cool this evening out there, and uh, the weather for the first week of the championship has been exceptional for the players and for the spectators. It, uh, it's been warm on a few of the days, but not... Uh, what extreme heat. Good coverage at the net once again by John Isner as he puts away the forehand volley. Fred, Fred, it's safe to say, I want to be delicate here, that you've covered a couple of U.S. Opens in your day. Have you ever seen a run of weather like this this whole first week? It's been amazing. No, no, very rarely does that happen here. And, you know, last year we had a lot of rain. Some years it's just uh, absolutely that hot that we've had... Uh, Cramps, players cramping, players uh, with heat exhaustion. Oh! That was going to be my next question because that has 40, to be really 30. great for the players to not have to worry about it. It hasn't stopped play, so they haven't been continually put on hold. They haven't had to exert themselves in extreme temperatures. The big thing that happens with Grand Slams when the weather's good is that the players have that day off. They play every second day. When you get that rain, Best of five sets, day in and day out, becomes very fatiguing. And, uh, it oh. Takes its toll on the players. Now an opportunity here for yes. Roddick, the, that return of serve. He's no serving and volleying. As I said, this man's not going to go away, but he's got a, an unbelievable ladder to climb. Challenge. Left side near sideline. Ball is called in. It's worth a challenge. It's going to try and stay close in this third set. You know how it touches it. Yeah. The shadow is always bigger. The shadow is always bigger. What? The shadow is always bigger than the mark. The shadow is bigger than the mark. Yeah. Why? I don't know. That's just the way Hawkeye. Right there. Going. I know. There, 100% at the mark. And that's out. I understand the mark you is. understand and you agree? Yes, but Hawkeye sees it bigger. Steve Ulrich coming to Andy Roddick who walks up and marks. Advantage the Isner. The ball hits as there's Roddick a mark left two there. Two remaining. The electronic review says it skipped. The shadow's, the shadow's bigger than the mark. Ah! And uh, Andy Roddick said, well, why? It's a fair enough question. And Steve says, well, the shadow's bigger I, than the mark. I don't know, yeah. But the mark's there. Oh! Well, it's better watch out. He was talking right, but it's Isner who sends a yes. message past the chair. Well, there is a compression of the ball, Fred, when the ball strikes yeah. the ground. It could elongate the ball, and therefore the technology is seeing it as such, and it catches part of the line. The product doesn't want to hear that part of the argument. He can ill afford, though, to allow that to sway his focus. Well, that's more out of frustration than anything else. Just hasn't had the answer. Advantage is now. He's going to serve. It's racked up 20 aces now. What can you do? He's got the best seat in the house for all 20 of those first serves. Now reach 91 minutes on court. And Isner closes and it out Isner. with the hold. One all. Third One set. Game all. Fred, we've made a couple references to this over the course of Andy Roddick's career, and it's been a long one, and he's had a storied one at the majors. Five finals, one title here in 2003. When Andy Roddick has been behind, down two sets to none, twice 
he has come back yep. to win the match. They were both in 2003. That was when he uh, won the US Open. Indeed. The year he won the US Open. I don't think he came back to two sets to love that the US Open. That's just too good. Ronnie could move forward. We love 15. Everything this fellow's done today has turned to gold. This one is not much on the approach, but what a lob. Roddick moves in to knock off the volley. This one up in the air, over the top, on the line. Can't do it any better. as many winners from the racket of John Eastner as he's hit unforced errors and that is in a match like this phenomenal. Remarkable production and a good result Thank here you. against the serve of Roddick. I love 30 lead. Good. Roddick with 17 winners. Eastner 45. here on Arthur Ashe Stadium Court about to send a supreme message to everyone in attendance that thought Andy Roddick was just going to walk all over him. Isner with triple break point to go ahead 2-1 in the third set already two sets to the good. Things are dicey to say the least. For Roddick. Change up serve on that occasion three quarter post kicker. 15 and 40. Control it, but he's got a few more to get yet to get out of trouble here. Danger lurking. Is Isner trying to break Roddick for the second time in the match, second time ever now in their third meeting. chances on the Isner serve to speak of. Early on he had love 40 and has not had a break point since. And a huge comeback there to get it to juice. Isner. Roddick patient. He's now here, the short ball. Roddick elects to slice the backhand. Again, it's not very close to the line. It's not good enough. And it gives Isner just two steps. That's all the tall man needs. But then he's got to execute. He flicks from down low on that one. A good short topspin passing you. shot. Gives him another break point. Fourth of the game. Good time for lucky number seven in the ace department. Needed that one. Back to Deuce we go. Come on! Uh, 
Vonick showing his fortitude here. He's not going away. He's down love 40 here. There's the reaction. He's trying to get himself going. And that's only to give him game point. Leads two games to one. Set. Third set. Is there by two sets to one. Word's gotten around the USTA Billie Jean King National Tennis Center that there's something special going on inside the there's showcase court. And everybody who had tickets inside here say, wait a minute, we got to get in there. So they are filing in. But this is not the night crowd. Though. We're not allowed in until this is over. You've got all the folks, you've got maybe 15,000 people who are going to be here tonight, maybe more. All outside waiting for this one to finish. Night program due to start around about now. That'll be put on hold, maybe for quite some time. I think what our viewers would love to see right about now is this unbelievable winners to unforced errors ratio that both players have had through this match. Oh! It's been a remarkable performance from both. chance or one of the chances that Roddick's got is that Isner now thinks he can win this match. And those last two shots have been two of the poorest groundies he's played in this match. Both of them in the middle of the net. Love 30. So Isner has reached the point where he feels comfortable that he is in a winning position here. But he has to close the door. Fans cheering with their hearts, certainly backing Roddick now. They want to see this thing continue. As the ball just sails over the head of Isner and wide, 15-30. These folks are not worried about the people that are waiting out there to get into the ball match, I can assure you. And 30 all. Indeed, yes, yeah. they're all those people with evening tickets. The session at night is supposed to start at 7 o'clock, but they are kept at bay. Stay out. We're the day session. We got our rights to these seats. We're going to hang out till this thing's over. What are they going to do? They're going to go out and have a couple of beverages and maybe a. Well, they'll a watch bite it on the big screen. Eat, or they can watch it on. Yeah, but then they're going to come in here and they will make a noise tonight. James Blake, second match tonight. 30 all. about it is not and Roddick has an opportunity. It's the first time for Roddick to get at Isner's serve since the eighth game of the match when he had triple break point. Isner ran off five straight for the hold to make it four all. And Roddick assert himself and take the lead here in the third. A little different pressure now than it was in the first set. Sail by, but he takes the look and walks over to the ad side. It's remarkable what John has been able to do thus far on 
what he started as the day and now it's become evening. He's just been remarkably consistent. He's not going to go away, and that's the, yes. the game plan is to be able to get in and win at all possible. And he's still going for it. That one right inside the baseline. One away from two all. 150 points played through this hour and 45 minute match. Up third set. Two games, all. Two games set. apiece between John Isner and Andy Roddick. I would like to remind you that usopen.org is the premier source for multimedia coverage of the U.S. Open. You can also choose from the largest selection of official U.S. Open licensed merchandise. Of your history, if you wanted to go, maybe get a 2009 bag, cap, no, T-shirt. Take the money, take the freebies. Well, of course, then. But you're <laughs> offered them. I have to go out there and shell out some big bucks. Well, if you no. went to usopen.org, you could find some of that merchandise and purchase it. Usopen.org, the official tournament website of the U.S. Open. Well, they do have some very good stuff there, all with the U.S. Open on it. And throughout the year, it's amazing how many people that you run into around the country that uh, have purchased some of that stuff. Quality. Well, the quality of play has certainly been evident all match long. Isner coming to the net and finds himself just missing the mark and Roddick doing what he has to do again. Put all that has happened before behind him and just focus on doing his part at least from the service line. Yeah, well, he's got to be disappointed. He had a break point in the last service game from Isner. Isner got out of it. He's starting to miss a couple, and Roddick has just got to do his job. He's got to hang in there. It's two all. If he hangs in there, three all, four all, five all. Easner gets a little uptight, and things get close. Well, maybe Roddick can sneak a set, get it into the fourth. Three games in a spot two, of trouble here at Arthur Ashe Stadium. Better shot there from Isner uh, moving forward. Watch this one here. Uh, we get a good look at it. He comes from underneath the ball and cracks it. And uh, good top spin. Gives it some air over the net. Had plenty of room, plenty of margin for error on that one. Oh, he didn't do anything there. Gave Roddick a chance. Roddick could not make the most of the opportunity. No, it didn't put anything on that volley, isn't it? A little consolation for Roddick there, but as we approach the bottom of the seven o'clock hour. Definitely day becoming night here, and Roddick loves to play under the lights. Nobody in the men's draw since Arthur Ashe Stadium opened back in 1998 has played more matches at night. 
they might have to play that song at the next change of ends. Nobody does it better. Give him a bit of a run. Indeed. Nobody has done it better. No, Nobody's haven't. won more no. matches exactly in the right. night session either. 18 wins for Roddick over the course of his career here. Well, he comes in again and uh, anticipates that, but Eisner has just played that shot so well. This slice right into the corner, and he flicks that one again. And Roddick at full stretch, and he's not a short fellow. He's looking for the one down the line, and a big stretch out wide. Cannot reach it. 40 love. Ambitious that one. Well, he gave himself a nice little buffer, so why yep. not take a big cut? 40 love, he had to go for it. Picks up his 11th forehand winner, 50th of three the match, all, total three winners, three and he makes it three all here in the third set. Isner just a terrific performance thus far. He has certainly issued the challenge to Andy Roddick here in this best of five set match. Remember, Andy Roddick, through his career at majors, has only come back from two sets to love down to win the match twice, those both coming in 2003. One of them was here at the U.S. Open in the semifinals against David Nalbandian to get to the final where he emerged as the champion of 2003. The other was at the first major of that year in Australia in the round of 16. Coming back from two sets down against Mikhail Yuzny. being fooled by the bluff there from Isner coming in. Roddick. Roddick holds it love. And once again edges out in front. The Texan leads four games down to two three. sets set. to none. Isner by two sets to love. Just approaching 7.30 here on the east coast of the United States in New York City. 11 miles across the East River to Flushing Meadows where all of tennis in all its glory has descended upon the Big Apple to see who will emerge as the champion in this final major of 2009. And John Isner has put forth the challenge to Andy Roddick saying, I know you've won this event before, but I might be a major stumbling block. Just to show how good this match is, the match yesterday, El Magro and Ginepri, uh, I called that 135 unforced errors in five sets. Well, we've played pretty much three sets here and they've made uh, 35. So that's 100 fewer, but there's got another couple of sets to go, so let's not be too harsh. But yesterday, that match was quite incredible. 135 unforced errors, 49 break point chances and nobody wanted to win it. Oh, Roddick got away with one. He took the man back, the big man. So this crowd erupts. They want this to go further. It's Roddick now, love 30 here. This one hits the tape. He has to make an adjustment, and Roddick now with the top spin one, and there the tall man tries to play the drop volley. Can the crowd lift him? The 
glimmer of hope is there. Love 30. Roddick 0 for 4 in break points. Can he get himself into position to really put the pressure on Isner? This is break time. Roddick will have to erase the memory of the eighth game of the match when he had triple break point against Isner and saw Isner run off five straight points. Roddick has yet to break Isner in the match, but he now has put himself in perfect position. Walking around like a caged lion right now. He wants this. And a great serve. They've been out there now two hours right on the dot. Second break chance for Roddick. his confidence hasn't been shaken at all considering he's up two sets to none he knows he's got a little space and he can just rear back but you got it uh, the, man. the only thing that's shaking is Roddick's head and after that one uh, he just shook the head so you know what is going on he said I get to this three break points and the guy rifles down two aces one more shot at it Long. No, it's good. Yes, he's made it. What a gutsy effort there. Again, helped by the let cord. Terrific pickup by Isner, yep. too, to put it back in play. That one right there, and he can't get anything on this volley, Isner, and great foot speed from Roddick. Threads it down the line. Oh, boy, back of the line, that one, but he's got the break. And the crowd delights in giving Roddick the support as he now is in position to serve for the third set and cut Isner's lead in half. Well, on the seventh break point opportunity, he made it. Fifteen left. shakiness yep. on Isner's game perhaps a little discombobulated after having his serve broken he had been so impressive from the line all day now night long and Roddick now just applies that little bit more pressure at 40 love triple set point. Extends this match. He takes the third set. 6 3. As the fans are delighted in Arthur Ashe Stadium. Isner will stand at the bottom of your screen and start off the fourth set from the service line. I'm going to challenge here, I think. 
maybe no not worth a challenge actually first point of the of the set and you get three for the entire set and a little bit of a change here isn't it now trying to probably conserve some energy serving and volleying i don't think that's a good ploy but we reflect back to the fact that he had mononucleosis and he's played two tournaments. He's only played best of three set matches and you can see him trying to drive himself now. But he's been out there for two hours and six minutes. Maybe, just maybe, physically, he's starting to feel it. Not afraid to venture forward yeah, once yeah. again at the net and the good put away. You bring up a great point, Fred, because of the fact that also Isner has to work so hard to lug that 6'10 body around the court, plus his fitness perhaps not up to the level he would like. And then you've got Roddick, who's been working on almost nothing but his fitness. Exactly. Just past 7.30 local time here in New York City. Kevin Skinner along with two-time major singles champion Fred Stolle. Fourth set, the third meeting between Isner and Roddick. Winner of this match will go on to face either Fernando Verdasco or Tommy Haas in the round of 16, but neither player really concerned with either of those opponents as they have their hands full today in this All-American round of 32 matchup. And Roddick finding himself perhaps maybe the one of a handful of people in Arthur Ashe Stadium to realize what a potential threat John Isner could pose. Oh, the deft touch. That's well played for a tall man. A little bit of finesse on that volley. Their previous meeting just a couple of weeks ago in the semifinals in Washington, a best of three match. Roddick prevailing in three sets, though Isner took the first set tie break. So Roddick knows that it's always a tough ask to take out the North Carolinian. And Isner. Just drops in another ace, number 26, on the day. And he holds to start off this fourth set. Just over two hours on court, looking back at the third set. And Fred, just they continue to impress. Look at Roddick, 11 mm. winners, one uh, unforced yep. error. Yeah, and uh, and Isner, he did that playing from winners. behind. Yeah, he did. Yeah, 15 winners from Isner, 10 unforced. It's just been a, a, such a well-played match for two of the biggest hitters in the game, both off the ground and on the serve. talked about the fitness of Andy Roddick in 2009, the change of dropping the extra weight. 15 pounds is a considerable amount of bulk to be taken away. Also talked about the fact that Isner could not play any better than he's played in the first two sets. And Roddick hung in there. He's won the third. It'll be interesting to see if Isner can keep up the level of play that is running the first two sets. Yeah, the only way seemingly was mm -hmm. backwards for Isner. For Andy Roddick starting off 2009, a terrific beginning to the year, reaching at least the semifinals in his first five tournaments. Got off to the terrific start in Doha, getting to the final there, losing to Andy Murray. Semifinalist in Australia, losing to Federer. Again, very capable at the net for the put away, the 15 30 lead. 15, Got to the 30. semis in San Jose, the third tournament of the year, lost to Roddick Stepanik, but exacted some revenge 
in the next tournament. And Memphis capturing the title there, the lone title in 2009 for Roddick, and finished that five tournament run of semifinal or better appearances by getting to the semis in Indian Wells, losing to Nadal. So obviously the hard work in the offseason paying dividends early for Andy Roddick. has come to the net far more sparingly than his opponent. Just the 13th time he's come to the net and has only been successful five of those times. Isner, 33 trips. Have a look at the body language of both players here now. now Roddick is still very, very positive. He's starting to slump the shoulders just a little bit. He knows he's had his opportunities and uh, Roddick has hung in there and taken this to a fourth set. Even Isner starting to contemplate the impact a fifth set may have on him. Could yeah. hold for him, yes. Yeah. And there's the come on from Roddick. This is his time of day. He's used to starting off and playing here under the lights at Arthur Ashe Stadium here. Indeed he is, as we made mention of earlier, Fred. It's the most matches ever played at night, Andy Roddick. 24 of them, and he's won 18 of those for the most match wins. That's inside Arthur Ashe Stadium since this edifice opened 11 years ago, and it has become a night match. This match starting just past 5 o'clock as the earlier sessions, some of the matches previous to this had extended longer than expected. And Roddick now enjoys this ambience and this mood, that New York feel. And the dynamic definitely changes. You see wife Brooklyn on the left there in the front row, part of Team Roddick. Though Roddick makes his home in Austin, Texas now. Last year, Brooklyn and Andy bought a nice little apartment here in New York City to call home during the two weeks of the tournament. Making it that much more of a home event for them. He loves the city, Andy. Well, they both do. 30 love. He's not holding firm at this stage. Holds it love. He's got himself out in front. 2 1, fourth set. Two games to one, fourth set. And two sets to one. It's been six years since Andy Roddick won his lone Grand Slam title here inside Arthur Ashe Stadium. 24 events. Like He's team. had four trips to finals to try to stave off the label as a one major wonder. And Roger Federer has dashed his hopes each and every time coming into this event. Roddick was considered to be definitely one of the favorites. Big chance here now for Isner. Love 15 second serve. Will he go after it? Oh, robbed by the net. That was well struck forehand. in the top portion of the draw, which would be, of course, occupied by Federer. And I think all expectations on Roddick's shoulders were to get to a semifinal to face Federer, but finds himself with an uphill battle today just to get to the round of 16. Forget about the semifinals. 30, 50.
missed it. Well executed, well disguised drop shot from Isner there. Roddick gets up to it. Isner looking to close the gap, close off the angle. Roddick just gets it a little too wide. Seem changed the grip there to pretty much a continental grip so he can get underneath it. Big grip change for him to come around from that forehand grip to try and open the face of the racket for that one. Yes. Isner ever so slightly able to make inroads on Roddick's serve and fight back from 40-15 to Deuce. there from Roddick. Now to say this would be big would be the understatement of perhaps the tournament as Isner had never broken Andy Roddick in their two previous meetings. Got the break in the second set for the first time against right now poised to take a 3-1 lead if he can convert his eighth break chance of the day. And Roddick responds with the big yes. serve to erase that threat. Roddick comes up with the big passing shot. And you got to get past big John Isner to do so. Going wide, and Isner watches it sail past for the winner. Well, Roddick hit, makes it two all. Hits that one from again, way behind the baseline. A brilliant shot down the line. On a couple of occasions he's come back on serve. Visit usopen.org, your exclusive online home for real-time scores and stats, daily video highlights and press conferences, official U.S. Open merchandise, and much more. The official tournament website, usopen.org. Of having too much time. Oh, love 15. Roddick even was able to stand back and just watch as Isner adjusted his shorts, pulled his shirt out. He goes for a bit too much on this one and reaches up, doesn't quite time it well. Gets a little bit behind him at overhead on the bounce. Good play from the tall man. 15 on. Had to bend down to make that volley. Isner needed just three sets to get past Romanian Victor Hanescu, though two of those three sets were tie breaks, that in the first round, and then defeated the qualifier Marcel Ilhan 
in three sets as well. Ooh, that was one that uh, he would certainly want back. But he's not going to get it, and uh, a bad miss there helps, isn't it? Straight sets over his two first opponents, and Roddick did the same. Bjorn Pau and Mark Jaquel. confidence of Isner seems to have been quelled for the moment. He seems to have found his groove again. As long as he gets that serve in, he's okay. Still remarkable numbers for the match, Fred. Well, it is. 83% first serve points one and 56 on his second serve. Damn. And 29 Isner. aces for John Isner. By it's virtue no of serving ladies, first, he's two, back out in front. 3-2 here in the fourth. There's been some terrific tennis played through the first week. Some exciting matches on both the men's and women's side. And for American tennis fans, just the storylines there alone. Taylor Dent winning in five sets against Ivan Navarro last night in a thriller. Dent coming back, playing just his fourth Grand Slam match since the 2006 Australian Open. Melanie Udan shaking things up in the women's draw. Has she ever? Great effort today. And then you get this All-American matchup that is extended well beyond the day session as we approach the 8 o'clock hour. There's two men who know themselves very well, a lot of familiarity with their games, even though they've only played two other times in the course of their career. Fred Stolle is saying he sees this going to a fifth, so sit back and enjoy this. Hey, I've been wrong a lot of times, but I just feel that uh, Andy Roddick wants this, and I... Isner's challenging the call. Uh, Isner like challenging the call. Line. I just feel that Probably. Isner is starting to uh, feel it a little bit physically. First challenge of this fourth set. It should have been an ace, says Roddick, and Isner says, mm, I don't think so, but remaining. the challenge stands in Roddick's favor. He picks up his 10th ace, moves ahead 40 love. He's willing. Yeah, he didn't have Roddick. a lot of conviction when he walked yeah. away from the challenge, did he? And he knows that he is now at three all with Roddick as we approach two and a half hours of play. Roddick has upped the ante once again in this fourth set, having lost just three points on his first serve, an additional three on his second. John Isner, you just get the sense, as you say, the body English, the yeah. language, as that head just starts to fall forward a bit. He's starting to succumb, maybe feel a little bit of that tightness and the pressure. Starting to lose that serve, only 115 mile an hour. That's great in most people's books, but he's been ripping them through at 140 miles an hour, 135. So Roddick with the first point of this game at love 15. And additionally for Isner, you're starting to see his movement mm -hmm. details, but those feet are starting to get a little heavier yes. each step. Not doing enough on the pass. Uh, the tall yeah, arm of the law there. Great wingspan. Here Roddick gets it back. The volley. This is an opportunity, but he goes cross court, open down the line, but he went cross court. And just the wingspan of John Isner is going to get most of those. And he had plenty of room with the volley. Well, 
that's uh, vintage stuff for early in the match, that one. Well hit. Very flat away from the body. there Roddick on the return framed it around the rack but he'll take it gets him to 30 all Now a chance. And the net cord. Very tight net here. And that one Cody. hit the net, jump deep into the court. Stefanki and Spreen, the trainer, encouraging their man. And he can hear them. First break point of the set for Roddick, eighth of the match, chance to move ahead 4 3. Seventh game, fourth set, break point. Oh, what a second serve. Yes. A lot of fight still left in Andy Roddick, and Isner showing he's got the composure facing a break point. You wouldn't know how he felt, did you? He's done a super job. I love his attitude. You wouldn't want to play poker against him, would you? <laughs> I'd rather play poker than play tennis against him. Another great second serve. Boy, he's letting that second serve rip. That was 113 miles an hour on a second delivery out there. wide. Twenty-four-year-old John Isner, point away from a 4-3 lead in the fourth set, leading two sets to one. Trying to upset the balance in the top half of the men's draw against the five seed, Andy Roddick. Oh, Roddick's had three net cords that have been rather yes. important in this match and uh, another one right here on this one. He, not very good hands from Isner there and he pushes it wide. He can't believe it. Eight o'clock straight up here in New York City. Kevin Skinner along with Fiery Fred Stolle, a man who can lay claim to a career slam, did so at all four majors and men's doubles. And enjoying this contest between these two Americans in the fourth set. Oh, well done. Great composure, did not panic. Has a look back up there. Mum's pretty happy about that one too. She started her own little fist pump. Advantage She's doing it double Isner. fisted here. And rightfully so. Isner with the good reaction. Great court speed from Roddick. And Smart move there from Roddick just to play that little one. He didn't probably get it quite deep enough behind Isner and Isner there. Just a good stretch and see that reaction. That's good finesse though from the tall man. Thank you. We've talked a lot, particularly at the beginning of the broadcast, Fred, about his transition game, his ability to move. He's actually been pretty impressive on the day for the hole. He has been. Oh, boy. Oh, Roddick 
frustrated there as Eisner just at full stretch drops that one over for the winner. Andy Roddick serving 3 4 must hold serve. No other way to describe it. No, than to say he it. has to hold here. Exactly. Perhaps the most important service game of his 2009 quest to get back to a final here, perhaps win another major. Certainly hadn't been tested through the first two rounds, hadn't dropped a set, had only been broken once. And in dire straits right now, eighth game of the fourth set. Well, it's worth here again talking percentages. If Roddick misses first serves, uh, Eisner has the break. You're not, he has the lead as far as games. He's just that one game ahead because he served first. And he can uh, just lay his ears back and have a shot. If they come off, he's going to break serve. And on a point like this, it's worth a, worth a crack. Go for the winner. Pretty good movement from big men. And the first one was the roll cross court, the little slow roll from Eisner on the this one here. Well played, took the pace off it. And Roddick, this was even better. And I don't think he meant it to be that good. But he has the ability to track this next one down. You can see he moved back just a couple of paces. signs of wariness laboring a bit. Yeah, offers up a half hearted return into the net and Roddick gets the hold that he needed to advance this okay. to four all. I think he's in his best shot. He may hold serve here. I don't think he can break the Roddick serve at the moment. His best shot is if they can get this into a tiebreaker and he just plays a blinder in the tiebreaker. Yeah, such as he did in the opening set. Fell behind 2-1, a mini break, and then ran off five straight points before winning the tiebreak 7-3. You're right, he has to just continue to do his part from the service line, be consistent, hold serve. See if he can get away with this in four sets. That's a smart play, good kick serve. He's such a tall yeah. fellow when he hits that kick serve, it jumps up all over Andy Roddick. It's up about shoulder height head height and he couldn't get anything on it and suddenly three steps later he's looking at him from the net position there in all sorts of time had plenty of time to make that and mother Karen oh, claps at the strategy and the effectiveness of his yeah this is a good play here with the making Roddick run to and fro yeah he plays the drop volley and then this is the one where Roddick uh, has got to be disappointed for that cross court. And 
John Isner has to be happy. Finally, a ball that strikes the net goes in his favor. Forty love in favor of Isner, looking to extend his lead up two sets to one to five four here in the fourth. And he does so at love. John Isner, a game away from advancing to the round of 16 and upsetting the five seed Andy Roddick in the process. In his career, Andy Roddick has only come back from two sets down twice in his career, both in 2003 at the Australian Open, round of 16, and here at the U.S. Open in the semifinals en route to his only major title. In order to do so for a third time, he will have to hold serve here just to stay in this match. So if he holds serve here, he's got one more crack at the Isner serve before they get to that tiebreaker. That's going to be the telltale tonight in this one, I think. Attempted a lob, sails long, 15 all. Fred, would you expect Isner now knowing? Now, if I can get the break here, I get this match over with, I move to the locker room, get to the round of 16. Should he change his tactics at all to try to. No, he, right, no right here, he's got to have a shot. I, you know, that's what I said. If he gets a look at a second serve, he's on a, a hiding to nothing. He's not expected to win this. He goes out. This will be a huge upset, biggest win of his career. But he's got to win it. As a nervous forehand, he has a chance here at 15:30. Top 16 men seeds move through to the round of 16, the first time ever in a major at the Open Era. As Mother Karen Isner looks on, <laughs> and Team Roddick is sweating a bit. And the palms wipe your palms. That that happens when you're up tight watching matches like this. The five seed in danger, 15:30. Look at this crowd. This crowd's a erotic crowd, man. Pretty on. Oh, boy. That is 30, 40. the only double fault Roddick has committed in this match. And it gives Isner a match point. Oh. Two hours and 47 minutes without a hiccup on your serve, and then you give him a match point. Thank you. Comeback. What a gutsy effort. Steely will yes. from Andy Roddick. 11th ace comes at the most opportune time following a double fault to give Isner match point. Instead, Deuce. Fabulous stuff. Low on the ball toss in this game. Advantage Roddick. Day crowd has now become electrified under the lights. Roddick one point from five all. Please. And somebody shouts out during the toss. And it gets a nice Bronx cheer here in this New York setting.
not doing enough with the pass. Uh, he's had a couple of shots there and has gone down the middle of the court or cross court. Yes. Has not hit one down the line. Tension. Both players relatively conservative, not wanting to make an error. And for Roddick, he comes out on the short end. Back to Deuce. shot there and Roddick again that's gutsy play again throughout his career he has not liked to go yeah, in on the slice right backhand out. he's learnt that the last 12 months this is not a great approach but uh, Eisner doesn't want to have a crack at it again conservative play Roddick rushes forward and knocks off the volley Saves off elimination and a match point. Five all. Five games all. Fourth set. Well, this has had everything in it. And drama, sweaty palms with parents. Match points saved with aces, given up with double faults. Got it all. And it's not anywhere near over yet. Let's go, Roddick. Ready for play. Thank you. Shades of that magical five-set match in Wimbledon when Roddick got that support from that All England Club crowd. They ch chanted his name. Thank you. And they certainly not waiting till the end of this match to chant for Andy Roddick. They want to see this thing go the distance. One more chance to break before they get to the tiebreaker. That's probably the biggest miss of the night from Isner as far as not such a big point, but uh, he missed that by yards, way, way out. So good look now for love 15. Big moment for John Isner. Perhaps the match of his career. You could understand as once again Mother Karen looks on to see the youngest of her three sons battling it out with one of the best tennis players in the world. And another loose point from Isner, who hasn't really had that many opportunities to play in such a tension filled match Roddick of course he's no stranger to it over the course of his career 106 and 33 in majors John Isner playing just his 11th match in a Grand Slam event. That's a tight shot. And another opportunity, as I mentioned, he had one crack at breaking serve before the tiebreaker. He does not want to get into a tiebreaker battle with Isner. So he's got three shots here before he serves. If he can convert, he serve for the fourth set. A brilliant return, forcing a half volley here, and he breaks, leads 6 5.
15 love. He's now there stretching. There, maybe perhaps stretching that left leg after that rally. Oh, he wants water, a signal there. He wants some liquid, maybe some of the mixtures that he takes on to court with him. And this one's going to go the distance, folks. 30 love. And I'll stick with my earlier prediction. I think Roddick's going to come up victorious. You said that back in the third set that you thought this would go the distance and Roddick would Watch prevail. Watch this here. There you go. That, that's it. Stretches that out. And another tight point Already of the there. last seven. Isner has not looked effective. He has given some gifts to Andy Roddick, who now has triple set point. Also a stretch of the hamstring. It's either cramp or but uh, he's hurting at the moment, isn't it? Game fourth set. What a well, Fred, you said we'd go five. Yep. We're going five. You said Seven it would be Roddick, but time will tell. Two sets all. Two sets apiece. Third round. One's missed. Two big forehands missed. And it's been difficult going for John Isner since he held match point at 4 5. In that fourth set, since that time, Andy Roddick has run off 14 of the last 16 points and has been helped out considerably by a handful of unforced errors from Isner. Never has the first serve been so important as it is now for Isner in the first three or four service games of this final set. After a spotty start in this service game, John on. Isner puts back-to-back -back points together and looks once again impressive coming forward. Good move there on the volley, but once again that passing shot, uh, Roddick's not getting anywhere near the lines with the passing shot, and Isner just with the outstretched arm, an easy backhand volley. 30 all. Pumping himself up, driving Andy himself Andy through. Andy. He knows how important this is. Now we've spoke about the fact that Isner with his mononucleosis from mid-April to July could have affected his training to get back into playing shape and fitness. The true test now having to go yep. a full five setter against Roddick. He needs to get that sort of self-motivation and belief. Particularly if he if he is suffering from a bit of a muscle pull or cramp. He made no mistake about that one. He missed the previous bounce overhead that he hit. It was a little deep, but that one was a little easier set. put away. And 
Isner out in front, one love with the hold. And once again, let's take a look back at some of the numbers from that fourth set. Both players, again, first serve percentage is very, very good, the way they hit the ball. Winners, both players, again, with more winners than unforced errors. Roddick at the net, six for nine. And uh, Isner been in there a lot more in that uh, fourth set. Uh, he lost it. He's been to the net a lot more in that set than he had been in previous sets. Karen Isner starting to come to the forefront here. <laughs> How much longer can her son hang on and just kind of willing, trying to cheer with their hearts to get that ball to cross over the net, but to no avail. American crowd gets behind these two players, the former champion, Andy Roddick. Enjoyed so much popularity here versus the 24-year-old Isner. He's having a glimpse at perhaps a dream run. Trying to get past the five seed. Well, 30-15. Roddick is challenged on the call, near side. Steve Ulrich Outside, out. makes mention of the fact that Andy Roddick thinks he's got an ace on this call. The technical review from Chase doesn't agree. 30-15, Roddick with two challenges remaining. Game, Roddick. And Andy Roddick holds in kind. We are one game straight all. up even. Final set. Two sets apiece, one game all here in the fifth set. Over the three hour mark, this one, and the fans here today have uh, certainly got their money's worth. Third round of the men's action on this middle okay. Saturday in New York, U.S. Open. Arthur Ashe Stadium, just past 8.30 p.m. local time as John Isner serves to the five seed, Andy Roddick, one all. Yeah. It's been a match that has seen just about everything. Some tremendous play it's at the low. highest level by both players. Service breaks have been at a premium. John Isner put the challenge to Andy Roddick taking the opening two sets and Roddick has responded by coming back and forcing a fifth and decisive set. Kevin Skinner along with 1966 United States Championships titleist Fred Stolle. And Fred we have seen this day session extend well into the night. Well, this is the longest I think uh, I've been over here doing this for quite some time and they, they quite often extend into the night session but uh, uh, this is about the time normally when the, the first match of the night session is finished. Yeah, 7 p.m. is the usual start time. Start yeah. time of the first of two night matches. And that certainly has been pushed back considerably, and there's no sense that this is going to end anytime yeah. soon either. There is.
is a mass of people outside clamoring to get in. 15,000 plus that have tickets for that night session that are going to have to just wait their turn. That's John Isner a point away from extending his lead to 2-1. Game, Isner. And indeed, Isner does take the upper hand. We're on serve, fifth set Isner from leads New York. Isner to game two final set. And a lot of people Ready outside. Thank you. Just waiting their turn, trying to get inside Arthur Ashe Stadium, but they'll have to wait for Andy Roddick, who serves at 1 2. Roddick closes forward. Isner didn't do much with the drop shot, and Roddick makes it pay. And Fred, perhaps we're Overlooking maybe the advantage of having a ticket to that night session. They could be outside watching this on the big screen. No, that's it. They're, they're getting, getting a bonus, too. Yeah, they are. Certainly are. Yeah, they're having a beverage out there. They don't have to worry about sitting down. They can move around, just quietly look at this, and then they say, hey, now we can go in and enjoy the evening session. Easy to watch your child struggle through such tense moments. And it's funny to think of Karen Isner to say that her, her baby boy, the youngest of her three yeah. sons, <laughs> at 6'10". But even at 24 years of age, a parent's concern and empathy for their child never, never wavers. something you can speak to from experience as well. Yes, most definitely. And 30, 50. Watching my son sand and play was a great thrill, but also a tough experience to go through a nerve wracking experience. Let's put it that way. And Steve Ulrich on the phone between points. Uh, I think he may be asking for a trainer for uh, his name. Continue to impress from the service line. Each has only lost two, two points all. through Final two seven. games. And we are even splitting the first four. Three hours, 15 minutes on court. We do remind you, though, the visiting USOpenshop.org is an easy way to purchase great US Open merchandise from the comfort of your own home or office. T-shirts, hats, towels, and more convenient international shipping options are available. That's available at US Open Shop. Dot org or go to usopen.org and click on the shop button. And you could be wearing something from the 2009 US Open without even having to pay for a plane ticket to New York. <laughs> Although, why wouldn't you want to be here now? Oh, my. Too well to that. That's a bit of a hobble from Eisner. And Not boy, what a shame if this uh, gets to this point. Good packages, though, this weekend, the holiday weekend. Uh, many packages are sold for tennis fans from all around the country. Watch what happens here. Eisner gets in. He just hobbles to get over to this one. And, uh, didn't move too well to that one at all or after he hit the shot. has to rely on that serve a gutsy on. performance win or lose from this young fella 35 aces now 
And the number, not surprising, 49 combined aces. You kind of expect something in the 20-plus <laughs> range from both of them yeah. combined, yeah. but to, to be so one-sided for Isner probably shocks most. third round matchup they had a combined 55 aces through each of their two first and second round matches Roddick had 26 aces to get here to the third round versus one double fault Isner 29 aces with six double faults they've certainly upped the ante yeah, today they certainly have and this is a huge point here at 1530 two all 1530 Straight at the body on that occasion. And that's where Isner, I think, has seemed to be the most impressive tonight. Just when yep. it seemed like he was really in trouble and yep. not having the experience to have been in this situation before, yet he's been able to respond each time. Well, most except, times, more yep. often than not. Yep. But more often than not, except in the end of that fourth set, and that's allowed Roddick into this. But Isner's not going to go away either. He, this is Russian roulette, the fifth set. And... Uh, Physical conditioning is starting to play a part, I believe. That's brilliant. He's missed a couple of forehands, driving himself through. 40, 30. Trying to just walk around and keep himself warm. Avoid the cramp. A very explosive forehand here, right into the corner. No answer from Roddick on that one. 78 winners. And Roddick also 41 winners. What a match. Isner with those 78 winners still a bit off the mark for what has been the most in a single match thus far. And also, yeah, so yeah, also the fact is that 35 of those winners have been aces. Isner leads Taylor Den had 121 also. winners in his five set match last night. This is going the distance tonight. Andy Roddick serving the sixth game in this fifth set. Fifteen love. Thirty love. Well, if Isner is hurting, he's doing a good job of not letting Roddick know about it. And that's one of the secrets. You, If you are hurting and you can avoid it, don't let your opponent know. Roddick's having a couple of quick looks up there to see how he's travelling. Challenge there. That 30, one was very 15. close. Erotic electing not to. So he must feel that it caught the back of the line. Most of the serves directing them to the forehand. He's gone out wide on the juice court and down the middle on the ad court. And Roddick. And Roddick holds three all as expected. And a quick look at the other end. All. Final set. There after that serve just to see how his opponent was moving. Roddick gave him a little bit of the look. Three all now. Business end, seventh game, fifth set. What a match, what a game this will be. Both players know the importance. Seventh game can get you uh, 
out of trouble or if you can break serve, it can make a big difference to the outcome of this match. Nighttime in New York City. And Broadway known for its spectacles. How about this one being produced on Arthur Ashe Stadium Court? John Isner in his very first Grand Slam event low. got to the third round. That was two years ago right here. And he played that third round match on this set court against Roger Federer. He's Took the opening out. set in a tie break. And then Federer grabbed control of the match, moving on, and eventually, of course, winning the title. Since then, Isner had not advanced past the first round in the next five Grand Slam appearances. He's now in the third round and trying to take out the five seed Roddick and get to the round of the 16 for the first time in his career. Well, that's a tremendous second serve again. Three hours and 22 minutes they've been firing bullets at one another. That serve 100 and four miles an hour a second serve most people would be happy with that in the first delivery Again, the resolve is there for Isner as he moves ahead. 40 Love with a terrific looking backhand winner. Just make this winner number 80. Ever so nonchalantly puts it away. And for Isner, in just his 11th match at a major, trying to do the unthinkable. Take out the 2003 champion at this event. Needless to say, it would be the biggest win of his career. Is He's just two games away, but he has set. to face down the serve, the potent one from Andy Roddick. Andy Roddick must hold. He's been in this position before. He had that terrific run in the fifth set against Federer at Wimbledon where he had to serve 11 times yep. to hold to stay in the match. Well, you won't have to do that here because they run a tiebreaker here, so. <laughs> Indeed, a fifth set tiebreak, the only major that does that. Yep. And that would certainly help out Roddick's cause to not have to go through that gauntlet of continually having to serve from behind. Well, I think the guy that that helps here who's starting to physically feel it is uh, Isner. If he can get through and get this to a tie break, anything can happen. It's Russian roulette, tiebreaker in the fifth set. Very tired here. I'm not showing anything though, but uh, slowing down the slow walk. And Roddick's like a caged lion. He's looked at the look up there, see how things are going. 40 love. This is one of these matches where you don't like to see somebody lose. It's just been played with such precision, okay, such brilliance. Right. And it's for all fifth set. Larry Stefanki. Four games all, final set. Talking to himself, maybe he's talking to Roddick. has to rely on that very athletic, that very fine service arm again, Isna. And as the tension mounts and the drama builds once again, it's now Isner who's in Thank the you. position at four all. Has to continue to be consistent and effective from the service line. Either player wavers ever so slightly and is broken. For all intents and purposes, the way this match has gone, that could prove the difference and be the deciding factor is once again Isner 
It's a nice little flare with the whipping forehand. Yeah, well, it's set up by the serve. He took a little bit off the serve, 115 miles an hour. But if he can get the serve in and then whack the forehand and be aggressive. There's again, he took a bit off that one too, hoping to sneak in and serve volley. A good move from Roddick. More concern in the Eisner camp there at the moment. And perhaps Isner just a bit slow in getting off the line to come forward as well, but a terrific shot by Roddick. 15 all. constructing the points well and he's saving his energy smart 30, shot there 50. because Roddick is now look how far behind the baseline he is three or four yards behind the baseline he gets to it but he's now there the long arm of the law he had that one covered Smart move. He's, he's thought about this. That was the Morning fastest Morning. second serve I think he's hit. And at 30.15, he says, I go for broke if I make it. And he made it 118 miles an hour, a second serve. Opened up the court for the big forehand. Brilliant strategy. Well thought out this game. Serve. Roddick put this ball at the feet of Isner, yep. making it difficult for the big man to get low enough to put the ball back in play. Three and a half hours on court as we take another look. This one right down the shoelaces, and uh, he's not missing that one way wide. as hard as he's hit one all night 140 miles an hour that one 225k what a ripper 5-4 new balls terrific crowds here all week long no exception on a Saturday night and as we approach 9 p.m. Andy Roddick serving 4-5 to stay in the match Mr. Volley, yeah. The approach shot again. That's uh, where he's he's learned a lot with this approach shot. Look where it was in the middle of the court, and uh, not really comfortable at the net. But he's worked his way in there and misses that one. An opportunity now for he's not. Guts to go for that one, Roddick. Down love 15.
service game and he's now in the position he was in the last set he's got one more crack at trying to break serve Game's before on. they get into the tiebreaker which will decide it all what drama both players serving extremely well in this fifth set Roddick having lost just four points on his serve Ready for play. Thank you. And Isner, six. Thank you. Five all. This is where Isner faltered in the fourth set. Lost his serve to Love. Love 15. After having had a match point at 5-4, Roddick went on a terrific run, winning 12 of the last 14 points, including, as you alluded to, breaking Isner at love to take the 6-5 lead, served and held, forcing this fifth set. Danger. Pull out that trump card. Give him that ace. Such a relaxed motion. He could, looks as though he could serve like that all day. He has been serving all day. Three hours and 36 minutes. Hey! 153rd point Isner has offered up from the service line. Oh, that's a good second serve again, right on the paint. Dirty, dirty. Zipped off the line. Smart play from the big man. He just rips that second serve. And that set up a forehand. He just ripped the forehand. He wasn't playing safe at all. Isner a point away from 6-5 lead. the strategy go for broke takes the 6-5 lead as he seeks his first round of 16 appearance. Roddick will serve to stay in, in the match. Five. Final set. Ready for play. Thank you. Roddick serving to remain in this fifth set and the match. Hey. Andy Roddick right inside the building that bore him his lone major championship. He's made no bones about it. He wants another title. 
it would be fitting for him in his career if he could make both of them here in New York. John Isner, three hours and 40 minutes on court. Roddick two points away from forcing a fifth set tiebreak. Well, that's what's going to do it. And both players have had a very good record this year in tiebreakers. One more point to get there for Roddick. Tiebreak has got to be Russian roulette with the way both these boys serve. Just one error, one misjudged ball decides it. And Roddick holds it love. We indeed head to the tiebreak to decide this match. First one to seven, win by two. And it is all on the line. Andy Roddick, his hopes for getting back to the final of the U.S. Open in danger as John Isner seeks his first round of 16 appearance at a major. High stakes, high drama here in New York. Crowd are on their feet, standing out for everything that's gone on in this match, and they should be. Both camps yelling encouragement to their man. And here we go. Great kick serve, worthy of a final, all this stuff. You're not going to see better tennis than this for the next seven days. Somebody has to lose it. Two all. Missed it. out in front one more point before the player switch ends and Roddick going for everything he played that safely that backhand and uh, just 
backed himself at Thank the you. net. He's near that tall frame there. But it went for a little too much, missed it wide. Two. Yeah, quite incredible on that one because it was Roddick that made the first move here. Played that one safely, a short ball. Roddick decides to go in, but again, the approach shot too far inside the court. It's not close to the sideline, and he threads the needle. And he's the one that's taken all the risks, isn't it? And boy, does he want this. 4-2 now. A big ask for Roddick. Mini break goes the way of the 6-10. John Isner, his 89th winner. Jeez, 52 errors. Roddick with still one serve left to try to close that gap. Does so effectively, but the mini break. Four, three. Puts Isner, Isner out in front, 4-3. With two serves on his racket. And the difference in this tie break has been one passing shot. Been absolutely blistering serves. One passing shot. That's all it might take. Mm -hmm. hey! Again, a brilliant play from Isner. Took the risk. Isner. Serve and volley on a second serve. And he had to make a good volley. John Isner's best performance at a major was his first ever here at the 2007 U.S. Open. Lost in this round, the third round. Went 0 for 5 in his next majors. He's two points away from eliminating the five seed to get to the round of 16. Boy, that volley caught the back edge of the line and then he had to come up again with another one. Isner had a match point in the 10th game of the fourth set. Roddick pushed it aside to force this fifth set. Isner with match point Ready number two. Thank you. Six four. Isner, Isner thought that it may have been a let. He asked. Steve Ulrich, if he heard a let, Ulrich's reply was negative. Match point number three for Isner. Net. He heard the net on that occasion. Roddick didn't hear that one. He didn't want to hear that one. If he did, he wants to ignore it and block it out and put it away. He'll have to offer up. Another serve. And does so with authority. His 20th ace of the match. Well, Eisner has been backing himself, and this was his opportunity. It hadn't looked like breaking Roddick's serve. He's backed himself all night on his own serve. He served 38 aces. It comes down to this. Crowd before this even gets going, the crowd are on their feet. Look at it, what an atmosphere. Now they know they've seen a tennis match at the highest level in just the third round, but it Thank has you. been masterful. It has been intense. Ready. Ready. John Isner with his fourth chance to eliminate Andy Roddick.
does it. Well, you see the respect from John Isner as he gets up off the ground after he fell in disbelief and outlasting fellow American Andy Roddick. But now he can emerge and head to the center of the court triumphant. In five sets, he takes out the fifth seed to advance to the round of 16. Well, that's as good as any final you're going to see. And Andy Roddick, bitterly disappointed, leaves the court very, very quickly and leaves the stage to this man. I'm sure they exchanged congratulatory words at the net. Andy Roddick's a class act, but he's got to be bitterly disappointed. I thought he would win that in the set. And this man was cool, calm and collected. If he was hurting, he didn't show it. If he was getting cramped, he was smart. In the tiebreaker, he goes to the net on a couple of occasions. On match point, he goes in there and he volleyed exceptionally well in that tiebreaker, did not falter when he had to come up with the goods on the volley. This is the first one. The second one he's done so many times, just a little block volley off the backhand. Roddick misses with the forehand cross court, and this man is victorious. And what's the reaction from the player's box? There's Mum up there, and that's I guess that's his brother, I would think. And what an effort for John Eisner. He cannot believe it. And he is through, and he has played a match here that any this match is worthy of any final you're going to see here, folks, at the end of next week. John Isner has advanced to the round of 16 at a major for the first time in his career. A magical five-set win, eliminating five-seed Andy Roddick.